Hey everyone, today we are going to look at some Pilot Parallel Pens. These are affordable calligraphy pens made by Pilot. I have with me four. I bought them separately. And each color that you see here, they are of a different width. The red one is a 1.5 mm nib. The orange is 2.4. The green is a 3.8 and the largest one, the blue one, this is 6 mm. So this is really broad. The parallel pen is quite long. It's very lightweight because the construction is mostly plastic except for the metal nib. The body has a tapered end here so it's impossible to post the cap behind. Overall it feels quite nice to hold. It uses ink cartridges. You can also buy ink converters. It comes with three ink cartridges. Depending on which uh, nib size you buy, the ink color may be different. You can also buy the ink cartridges separately. This one is used up. I have already cleaned it up. So it looks something like this. If you want to refill this on your own, you can do so. You just need to get a needle and syringe, one with a blunt needle. I know many of you are interested to find out where to buy this uh, needle and syringe. I will put the link in the video description below. With that, you can easily refill ink cartridges like this. If not, you have to um, get ink converters. This is the ink converter that is included with the parallel pen. This is the squeeze type converter with a black sack behind. Because this is black, you cannot see how much ink is left, how much ink remains. So if you want to, you can also swap that out and buy a separate ink converter. This is the Pilot Con 50. This is the twist type converter. I believe this holds a bit more ink and this ink cartridge holds even more ink. For cleaning purposes, it's really easy to dismantle the pan. You just have to twist the nib slightly left and right and it comes right off. This is how it looks like up close. So the feet section is right behind. You have the size here and this plastic part will hold the nib together. So the nib is actually just two pieces of flat metal being held together. To put the nib back, it's almost to put to put the nib back. It's also very easy. Just push it back into the grip section, and that's it. It's a really easy pen to maintain. There are some people who would convert their parallel pen into an eyedropper pen. What I mean by that is they remove the ink cartridge. Instead of using the ink inside here, they use the ink in the body, they fill this whole thing with ink and then they uh, seal it up somehow. I'm not sure how they actually do it, but when you use the body with ink, especially when using with such a large nib, you don't have to refill as often, the ink can last much longer. And that is very convenient, especially when you're using um, such large nib because it uses up ink very fast, you have to refill very often, it's um, quite uh, troublesome. The last thing that is included with the Pilot Parallel Pen is this sheet of plastic. It's a really thin sheet of plastic. This is for cleaning the nib. So if the nib clogs up for some reason or it's very difficult to clean the ink out of the nib, you can use this plastic sheet. Just place it between the nib like this and you can sort of clean it. It's very easy. So these are the things you will get when you buy a parallel pen, some ink cartridges, one ink converter, this plastic cleaning sheet. I bought these pens many years ago when I was crazy about broad nib tips, like the Fude nib in some fountain pens. This is an example of a Fude nib. It has a bent tip there, so when you're drawing at certain angles, the lines will be very broad. The Fude nib is capable of thin and thick lines depending on how you hold a pen. I thought I could do the same with the Pilot Parallel pen, but it's a bit more difficult with these pens. These pens are designed for calligraphy work. That's why the nibs are cut 
almost 90 degrees perpendicular to the paper. All right, now I'm going to fill up the pens with ink to show you how they perform, how they write. So with a syringe like this, it's really easy to refill the ink cartridges. This is the 1.5. I'm going to put this in the upside down position in my pen holder to get the ink flowing. The ink that I'm using is the Noodleless Bulletproof Black Ink. I'm using this ink because this is a large bottle with 90 ml. When you're using parallel pens, they use up a lot of ink. So it's good to get a large bottle. All right, let's test out the pens. The paper that I'm using is the Strathmore writing paper. This is a paper with 25% cotton. It's 90 GSM paper. This is a really nice paper to write on. So let's start with the 1.5. Calligraphy is an amazing skill to have, to learn. It's a beautiful art form. I'm not that good, so please bear with me as I try to write something legible. Let me just try and tilt the nib at 45 degrees to get the maximum effect. So this was written with 1.5 and now let's use the 2.4, which is the orange one. You can see that this is much thicker. The nib has to be totally flat on the paper. If not, if the nib is not in contact with the paper, the ink is not going to uh, come out. So this is 2.4 and now let's switch over to using 3.8. This is starting to become really thick. Well, and lastly, this is six mm, so this is a bit difficult to control. So, notice how it sort of a uh, dries up that's because I did not put the nib flat on the paper I have to go a bit slower to make sure that the nib is really in contact with the paper if you can get it right it's really satisfying to see your own art so this is what I have. This is 1.5, 2.4, 3.8, and this is 6 mm. If you want to use the largest nib, you have to write on a large piece of paper. You have to write big because if you try to write small letters using a big nib, the letters, um, they will sort of um, squeeze together and it's something like this. It's not going to be legible. So with a small nib, you can afford to write small. With a large nib, you have to write big. I don't have any calligraphy skills, so I'm just writing the letters as I would with an ordinary pen. Now, there are some pretty amazing demonstrations uh, created by others on YouTube. You can uh, watch those uh, videos. They create really amazing art with pens like this. So it really comes down to um, your skill and how much practice you have. These pens can also be used to create some interesting texture. Notice those small grooves at the edge there. You can write very fast and can get lines and textures like this. If you write a bit slower, then you will get a full stroke. This can be quite fun for creating textures. All right, let's try and draw something. I'm using the 2.4 pen. It's not easy to draw with this pen. 
because uh, if you want thin and thick lines you have to make a very conscious effort to align the pen properly align the nib properly to the paper if you are just drawing as a uh, panorama as normally um, sometimes the lines they may not come out the way you want them to like for example sometimes you may want thin lines but they will give you thick lines and that's just how the way it is with um, drawing with calligraphy pens like this this is actually quite convenient for coloring areas because of the broad nib you can use this to color areas large areas very quickly so if you want thin lines you have to make a very conscious effort to use the edge of the nib for those thin lines and if you want thick lines you have to make sure that you again turn the angle of the nib This is where I'm switching over to the larger 3.8 because I want to use this nib for coloring large areas. This is very convenient for doing that. And I can use the edge again to add in some details. You can certainly draw with the Pilot Parallel Pen. The lines that you get are either thin or thick. It's very difficult to achieve transition and if you want transitions from thin to thick to thin, um, you have to plan them, you have to be a bit more cautious, for example here. I have to tilt the pen thicker and then thinner and then thicker. If you are using some other pens like the Fudi Nip pens, uh, lines like this, they come out naturally without thinking, without you thinking at all. So it's a bit more natural to draw a Fudi Nip with Pilot Parallel pens, Music Nips or uh, Calligraphy Nips. You have to be a bit more conscious uh, when it comes to drawing with them. If not, um, I mean, sometimes when you're drawing transitions like this from thick to thin they make the sketch look uh, interesting if it's just thick and thin it's either thick or thin it's not going to look as um, interesting all right so that's all for my review today if you want to check out more beautiful artworks created by such pens you can search on youtube you can search pinterest there are amazing examples out there if you're interested to get yourself some of these pens, you can visit the affiliate links in my video description below. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you use Pilot Parallel pens yourself, I would love to hear from your experience as well. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.